just a couple more ferns to show you. I was so inspired when I was at the fern house at the Botanic Garden that I just had to show you several of them today. And this is my very own Boston fern. Now you're probably familiar with this one. It's a very popular variety and it's lived in people's homes since Victorian times. It's also one of the easiest ferns to grow. Just water it when the top feels dry and give it some nice bright light and it can take some full morning sun without any trouble at all. The one thing about Boston's is you do need to groom them from time to time. I've seen some people with their Boston ferns thinking that they weren't doing very well because they had a lot of dead growth underneath. Well, they tend to do that a lot anyway. You just need to clean them out every once in a while and they'll do just fine. And I also have a hybrid of the Boston with me that's grown really well in my house. And it's over here. It's called Nephrolepis Kimberly Queen. And it's a little bit more like the sword fern. But it's a, really, it's a new variety on the market. It has really thin, narrow fronds on it. But I think it's quite unique. Ferns are so wonderful. They're just graceful, lacy, and plants that are really soothing to have around. So I hope if you've never tried to grow one, that you will. Just remember that you want to keep on misting them. Give them that humidity.